my dear friends and welcome back to another Star Wars news update. So the latest issue of Empire Magazine has released and as promised there is info for the Andor series, Ahsoka and the Mandalorian Season 3, not to mention a few tidbits for the Bad Batch Season 2 as well as information for Tales of the Jedi. Now when it comes to Andor and Ahsoka there is nothing new and we've already covered those sneak peeks over the last couple of days but with Mando Season 3 there are quite a few interesting details to get through so no more jibber jabber my dear friends let's get straight into it. So we begin with the fact that the issue makes a big point of saying that season 3 is going to have quite a few sequel trilogy connections. In their own words, the subheading states, the sequels shine through. They confirm that Babu Frick and maybe other Anselons are going to appear in season 3 and they toy with the idea that Babu himself is going to meet Grogu. And let's be real here, this is going to be a huge selling point much wise for Disney, but I'm not too fast. Of all the issues I have with the Rise of Skywalker and the sequel trilogy in general, Babu Frick was not one of them. I thought he was a funny little fella. Now those who attended the Mando Plus panel at Star Wars Celebration already know about Babu Frick in Season 3 because he was in some of the exclusive footage, but this article now confirms it. In their own words they say the following, One of the Mandalorian's greatest strengths is the way it combines all eras of Star Wars' extensive canon, though it skews more towards planets and creatures from the originals and prequel trilogy, but the arrival of Anselons, which is Babu Frick's species, is a sign of more sequel era creations breaking through. And something which I think is worth pointing out is that ever since the Rise of Skywalker released, Lucasfilm have distanced themselves from the sequels. We've not seen too much content come out of it. There have been some illusions and of course the novels, but generally speaking in the main content, there's not been too much. They focused on the originals and the prequels, which I'm honestly happy with, but it seems as though now with the upcoming third season of Mando, that might change. And as I said, I have no issue with Babu Frick or any of the other alien characters in those three films. And speaking of such creations, the article hints at more exploration of what the Imperial Remnant was up to and I'm talking about the cloning project that we saw in chapter 12 The Siege and the reason they bring this up is because Carl Weathers was interviewed he is back, not only to star as Grief Karga, but also behind the camera to direct one or two episodes, and he says he's going to carry on the legacy of Chapter 12, which of course is the episode he directed in Season 2, one of the best in the entire series and my personal favourite. Let's see what Carl Weathers said in the Empire exclusive. With Chapter 12 The Siege, Weathers delivered an action-packed instalment that culminated in a thrilling vehicular chase sequence, and also gave us the all-important Grogu and his little blue space macaron saga. It was a confident directorial outing and as he confirmed at Star Wars Celebration, he's officially returned to helm an episode of the upcoming season 3. Speaking to Empire, he teases an ever deeper dive into high octane territory for his new episode. This is what he says, oh there was a bit more action I think in this one. Adding that it's a little different to the siege because a lot of it has a lot more scope, but this one also had many many different kinds of stories within the story and that's really nice. He says, I love directing, it's my passion, this show gives you so much opportunity to deal with all of these different characters. Even though the different episodes, it's not like typical episodic television. It's not a whodunit, it's not a dark comedy, and it's not procedural. It's so many different things and it's action adventure on top of all of that. As a director, you get to exercise your talent and also your ability to deliver in those different areas. And as you guys are probably aware, Chapter 12 The Siege is my favourite episode of the entire series. So I cannot wait to see what he's going to do with his episode of Season 3. Empire Magazine also confirm that Din Djarin is going to Mandalore and they say the stakes are higher than ever before in this season, but they do state that Din is not the only focal point of the season. So staying within the Mandoverse, my dear friends, the issue gives us a short paragraph about the new show Skeleton Crew, another post-return of the Jedi series. Let's see what they said. Previously known under the codename Grammar Rodeo, the new live action series from Christopher Ford and MCU Spider-Man trilogy director John Watts is officially titled Star Wars Skeleton Crew. It's primarily about a group of kids lost in the galaxy, but the big casting news was that Jude Law is going to star in it. And John Watts says the following, It stars four kids, but it's not a kids show. Now that's all Empire Magazine had to say about Skeleton Crew, but later in the day Bespin Bulletin revealed an exclusive report stating the show has already started filming. That's right, Skeleton Crew is filming alongside Ahsoka. Bespin say that Skeleton Crew started filming around the end of June at Manhattan Beach Studios and will also film at both an unknown studio in Culver City and at California State University in Dominguez Hills later sometime in the shoot. Unfortunately, they have no further details, but it's nice to hear that shooting has started and that all seems to be going well. Skeleton Crew is set to release sometime next year and is probably going to connect to the main show, The Mandalorian. 
And so two final tidbits from this article, the first one for the Bad Batch. They say, a badder batch. The animated arm of Star Wars continues to thrive. Dave Filoni's clone will spin off The Bad Batch will be back for season two on the 28th of September, bringing fresh adventures for Clone Force 99 and Omega. So that confirms it guys. There was a rumor stating The Bad Batch would release on the 28th of September, but this is the first official confirmation. They then say, plus a second season of anthology series Visions is confirmed for early 2023. So that's going to release in the same year as The Mandalorian season three and Ahsoka and maybe even The Acolyte, although that show could be another couple of years away, but Vision Season 2 is confirmed for next year. And then they talk about Tales of the Jedi and the return of Qui-Gon, the return of Liam Neeson, not only in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, but also in this new anthology of animated shorts. They say the following, On the animated front, there's also a whole new show to look forward to, Tales of the Jedi. Three of its six short episodes are about a young Ahsoka Tano, while the other three are about Count Dooku during his Jedi years, before before he joined the Sith, and if you remember, Dooku's apprentice is none other than Liam Neeson's The Phantom Menace Jedi Qui-Gon Jinn. As if that cameo in Obi-Wan Kenobi wasn't enough, Neeson will be back to voice the character in Tales of the Jedi, joined by his son, Michael Richardson. So that, guys, is pretty much the article. Really awesome stuff, a lot of insight, and more than anything, it's made me miss The Mandalorian more than ever before. And so finally, my dear friends, yesterday Disney Plus revealed their first trailer for George Lucas's ILM special. When the original Star Wars movie was in development in the mid-70s, much of the special effects technology that Lucas needed did not exist yet. Enter ILM, starting out as a small group of engineers, students, and artists working on what would become a new hope. ILM grew into one of the most highly regarded FX houses in the industry. This is a reputation that it's held on to, extending into the modern day. But how did it get there? Well, Disney Plus is looking to tell that particular story. Lucasfilm officially released the first trailer of the six-part docuseries, Light and Magic. The series features film industry icons like George Lucas, Robert Zemeckis, and Steven Spielberg, shedding light on what makes ILM a powerhouse in the visual FX world. Light and Magic premieres on Disney Plus on Wednesday, July the 27th. Awesome stuff, guys. And with that said, that brings us to the end of today's Star Wars news update. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to let me know in the comments down below, share your thoughts, give this video a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, why not hit that big red subscribe button down below and also give that bell a good old tickles so that you never miss an upload. But until the next one, my dear friends, may the force be with you always. I'm Star Wars Meg. Have a good one.